walk around Amsterdam and you're sure to notice the meticulously painted cursive lettering adorning the large windows of the city's so-called brown cafes. These signs, known as krul letter or curly letter, form a venerable tradition of sign writing that make the Dutch capital an appropriate setting to celebrate the world of handmade signs. You'd be forgiven for not having heard of the annual Letterheads Meet. It's one of the more esoteric events on the design calendar. For over four decades, it's brought together sign writing enthusiasts from all over the world to exchange skills and socialise. Taking place in a different city each year, the most recent instalment brought the event to Amsterdam. Mick Pollard is a sign writer based in Kent who has worked in the field for over 20 years. A lot of young designers, graphic designers, etc., have always been blown away by the power of a hand painted sign. And they've tried to create it on the computer and it doesn't work. So they come to these letterhead meets and they really are surprised how quickly and how precisely and how easily we could paint, let's just say, a letter. But we have to explain to them that the only reason we can do it as efficiently as we do is not because we're supermen, it's because we've done a thousand letters to get to that standard. Traditional methods of sign painting hit an idea in the 90s when cheap vinyl transfer threatened to eclipse them. At one stage, it looked like the pixel might kill off the brush and paint pot for good. But over two decades later, this unique skill has come back into demand. And way back, sign writers in every town were in competition. So it was in their interest and the customer's interest to produce a sign that was so special it would outdo the other sign writer. Then in the 90s, computers came along and businesses being businesses went for the cheaper option. Now, people are starting to realise that it's not the cost of the sign, it's the effectiveness of the sign. Having made signs for numerous small and medium-sized businesses, Cheryl McLean knows better than anyone the difference a quality sign can make. She's a blackboard artist from Australia who travels the world teaching freehand sign painting. If you want something that's really going to stand out, it has to be done by hand, it has to look professional, but it has to have that real unique element to it. And I often find that this reflects into the businesses that I'm working for. And if they have a board that's done by hand out the front of their venue, it tells customers that this is a quality place. For Cheryl, the tactile qualities of blackboard signs captivate passers-by and usher customers through the front door. It's a very much on the spot type of medium. It has that earthy, grainy, hand done element to it that makes people notice it. And because of that, it's a fantastic advertising medium. Signs don't just serve a commercial purpose. They're part of a city's evolving story, lending its streets and neighborhoods character. Gustavo Ferrari teaches workshops in Filetiado. It's a style of sign writing developed in Buenos Aires by Italian immigrants in the late 19th century. The bright illustrations and curved lines are painted with a distinctive flair and adorn the city with style and colour. This style is the visual identity of our city. So everybody that goes to Buenos Aires wants to buy something like that as a souvenir. And then one of my most strange and amazing customers in Buenos Aires is the US Embassy. They've been doing like signs for Marines and for the FBI and they really appreciate it. It's a way to say that they belong to Buenos Aires. It's very deep the feeling between the Fileteado and the city itself. It's not just the artists of Argentina who understand the value of Fileteado as part of Buenos Aires DNA. The traditional art form has also been recognized by UNESCO. In the 80s and 90s the Fileteado was almost lost in Buenos Aires because the old masters were dying but then, in the last 15 years, there has been an increasing interest in filete. The colors and the technique itself and the way we get volume and deepness, people just got attracted because of the work itself. If the enthusiasm of the Letterhead's attendees is anything to go by, we can look forward to artful, handmade signs adorning our cities for years to come. For Monocle, in Amsterdam, I'm Henry Rees Sheridan.